How y'all doing? My name's Fredo. My last name's Bang. Before Fredo Bang would drop tracks like Ooh, Father, Mansion Party, Gangsta Talk, Dog Gun, and more. Before Fredo Bang would have rumors about his own death circulating online. Before Fredo Bang would clock in nearly 1 million Instagram followers, a quarter million subscribers on YouTube, and cash out on an expensive piece from Icebox in memory of his boy, The Real G Money. Zoom in when I say this. I have no uh, knowledge of anything that you just... Yeah. Shout out to my people. <laughs> First off, I need to say that Fredo Bang, he's got the whitest teeth in the game. But looking at my teeth, I just wonder how they look just eating on some care right now and just, just looking at my teeth. Just. He also seems like a super nice and humble dude, but the man has been through some serious stuff. Now he was on the come up alongside NBA Youngboy, and at 19, he was one of Southern hip hop's most celebrated MCs. But then he had multiple felony charges that threatened to derail his promising rap career. I mean, the dude could have gotten 40 years or more, for real. On top of all this, he lost two of his closest buds and collaborators to gang violence. Now, after serving over two years, he returned in 2018 with a new level of confidence and determination. In fact, he told Fader, Jail showed me what's important. Let me make my music. Let me feed my family. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCredden, back at it with another Before They Are Famous video, this time on your boy, Fredo Bang. Now, there's been tons of requests to make this video over the last couple of months, so I'm happy that we're finally getting her done. Other recent drops include Rod Way from St. Petersburg and Guap Dad 4000. As always, you guys gotta keep sending in your requests. The best way to get a hold of me is via my DMs. All right, let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Fredo Bang was born Frederick T. Givens II on March 29th, 1996 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now I understand I've been saying Baton Rouge incorrectly like for a number of years now. It's Baton. My bad. I've never been. Baton Rouge. Now his mother, who works as a teacher, she separated from his father when he was just a year old, but his dad would remain in his life. At the age of 11, Wilfredo's father, he revealed to him that he was gay. Now in that interview, he also opened up that his father had been molested as a child, but his sexuality, it never bothered young Fredo, and he loves his dad all the same. Now this makes Fredo Bang a great role model against homophobia and hip hop. Who would have guessed it? Now, following his parents' divorce, while well, his mother, she remarried a cleaning company owner. Now, Fredo, he has five brothers and four sisters, most of them step-siblings, including a sister he's never met that lives in Latvia. Now, she comes from his father's side. His dad, he got it on with some lesbians. They wanted a child. So, Fredo Bang's family life, it's a little bit like friends. You know what I mean? So what's new? Still, uh, a lesbian? well... Now a police report listed his former house address. We actually found a photo of this on Google Earth, but he don't live there now, so don't go doxing him. Now there also exists some footage of him giving a tour of his local hood. Clown, you know what I'm talking about? What the fuck it is? We in Uptown right now. Yeah, that's my old house right there. You know what I'm saying? Used to ride the go karts all up and down here. All, that whole school, all that used to be up. Be grass and um and concrete over there. They, they built that school. No talking with Fader Wilfredo Bang. He had this to say about his early life. Growing up in Baton Rouge, if you're weak, you're beat. When you're thrown in an environment that's almost like a jungle, you either learn or you lose. It's simple as that. Now, Fredo's older brothers, they were constantly in and out of prison, some serving as much as 10 years at a time. Now, DJ Vlad, he asked him what kind of charges they had, to which he said this. First, the Baton Rouge is a real life death trap, but despite this, well, he himself would eventually get caught up in street life as well. But we don't have no, 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 no sh for people to come down here and like really enjoy like a Six Flags or something. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason. You know what I'm saying? Anybody about to take no big investment somewhere that's a death trap. We actually found an old Instagram post where he captioned it, had money way before the rap, now I'm 50 grand up in jewelry. The Fredo Bang, he met his close friend and future collaborator, The Real G Money, when they were both 10 years old and in the fourth grade. Now the duo, they started collaborating on music by their early teens. Now another one of his close buds was Crazy Trey, who would also be an early collaborator. Now some early tracks include iPhone 6, Rainy Days, and I Love P.U. dollar sign dollar sign Y. You know what I'm saying. Now I decided to look up a few of these music videos and in iPhone 6, well you might recognize one of their buddies. Yeah, it's none other than Baton Rouge superstar NBA Youngboy. 
Now this video was filmed back in 2015. Not long after this video was filmed, well there was a falling out between NBA Youngboy and G-Money, and Youngboy and Fredo Bang, well they haven't really spoken since. Now there might be a whole lot more to this story, but I'm gonna leave that investigation to someone else, like Say Cheese TV. I don't really have differences like that, is it? Not really, he mad, he mad about his sister too though. About his sister? Yeah, I had f***ed her a long time ago. Now Fredo Bang, he got his rap moniker from a friend who used to refer to him as Fredo. That's after Fredo Santana, RIP. Now by 2015, him and his crew, well they were making big waves in music and gearing up for a takeover. Their songs, they got millions and millions of streams and views on YouTube. Now Fredo, he also managed to graduate from high school, but he dropped out of college after he caught his first case on second degree battery. This was after he broke another guy's nose. Now this got Fredo in some trouble with the law, but he kept focusing on his music. Now tragedy, it struck in 2014, when the man he referred to as his best friend, Crazy Trey, well he got killed at Fredo's birthday party. Three people were gunned down that day, and a fourth was wounded. And well, of course this took a heavy toll on Fredo Bang. These kids at Baton Rouge, they ain't playing. It like literally is a death trap. More collaborative tracks between G Money and Fredo Bang would follow, including Sweet Lady, Who Gonna Ride For You, and his solo track, Nothing Wrong. That was produced by Be Real. Now his first viral hit on his own was Thuggin', which came out in June of 2016. Today, the official music video has over 2.5 million views. Now the boys were having a promising rise with the real G Money being the standout star. But then Fredo, he was arrested again in relation to a shootout that had taken place in November of 2015 at 4300 block of Denham Street in Baton Rouge. Now initially he made bail at 70K, but then he got pulled over and the cops found a gun that had been involved in five other shootings. So, uh, wow, it wasn't a good look. Now from there, the judge, he put a hold on him and he kept him locked up. At one point, he was facing up to 40 years in prison. But while locked up, he had to deal with some more tragic news. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22-year-old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Right now, police have not named any suspects or motive. His other childhood best friend, G Money, he was found dead in 2017, having been shot outside his studio. Now, police, they immediately began to investigate NBA Youngboy's crew due to their public beefing over social media. And eventually, it was one of NBA's associates who had pulled the trigger. So Fredo Bang, he found out this news while in jail. And of course, the news did hit him especially hard. Now, after serving two and a half years, Fredo, he got released in May of 2018, and he was given five years of parole. He explained to Say Cheese TV. See, um, my attempts, they, they, they broke it down into legal use of a firearm and criminal damage to property. So I copped out to seven years to criminal damage to property, two years of legal use of a firearm, and two years stolen firearm. While in prison, he worked on honing his music skills and resumed his rapping career. He told Hip Hop DX, The songs I made in jail were easier to make because while I was locked up, I was more in tune with my emotions. Outside, I could be more distracted. In October of 2018, Bang released his debut mixtape titled Two Face Bang. The 14 track tape, it featured songs like Ooh, Bangville, Status, Father, and Shooters on the Roof. Father was especially touching and especially viral, and this song was dedicated to his two departed friends, G Money and Crazy Trey. Now, Bang's other 2018 releases include Die Na, Side, My Little Juvie, and My Exes. Then in 2019, Will Bang, he released his album Big Ape, which featured the hit Story to Tell and Gangsta Talk. That one featured NLE Choppa. Now, the dude, he seems like a pretty dope guy who's been through some serious stuff. Good news is, though, he's moved out of Baton Rouge to Miami, so he's actually escaped the death trap. Good for him. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see because this is before they are famous. My name is Michael McCrudden, and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. You guys requested this one. I read through a lot of your DMs. That's what I do, like, in the later hours. And I'm hoping I don't get one from Fredo Bang because he might be like, what are you talking about me? And then I'm gonna be like, ah, I don't wanna mess with you. Okay, he's on parole. An NBA young boy. I've made a lot of videos on him and never heard a peep. So I think we're good. All right, just playing. See you guys in another video. Boom!